Hi, this info session is part of a wider user uptake strategy of the European Commission. One of the aims of that strategy is to stimulate the development and use of innovative downstream applications that incorporate Copernicus data and services. Satellite missions have been capturing the Earth on a daily basis for more than 15 years. This has accumulated into a treasure trove of information on how regions in the world have evolved over this period. Copernicus Land Monitoring Service has developed a time series viewer which unlocks the information from remote sensing archives by enabling interactive requests on a pre-computed time series datasets. The objectives of the module are to show you how to view charts and maps in a time series viewer from the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service, show you how to navigate in a time series viewer and get relevant information. The particular use case shown here concerns a government that has put a lot of effort in improving vegetation health and abundance in their country over the past few years. They would like to know how their actions have impacted the tree cover and natural vegetation over the last years. One of the applications authored in the ProBathy Mission Exploitation Platform is the Time Series Viewer, which unlocks the information in remote sensing archives by enabling interactive requests on a pre-computed time series datasets. Pre-computed means that the application does not provide information at the level of the individual pixel, but at a higher level of regions and countries as follows. All the technical details are available on this slide. So let's go and see how it works. To access the ProBAV time series viewer, you just have to follow the link provided in this slide. The application allows to explore and view charts and maps, derived indicators for vegetation and environmental monitoring that are part of the Copernicus Global Land Service. It also allows you to display rainfall data from CHIRPS. This image shows you the interactive browser you get access to once you're logged in. Now let's come back to our use case. Imagine we would like to monitor vegetation health and abundance over the past few years in Greece. The first video will show you how and where to select the right parameter for this use case. The second video I'm going to show you will show you how to view details per region or per month. And the last video will show you how to extract or download the information. In this video, you will notice that the time series viewer is really user-friendly. For our particular case, we have to choose Greece as the country. And you could choose it directly on the map or using the drop-down list on the left column. You can also tailor your start and end date. In this case, the past three years were chosen. Still, on the left column, we will now choose to display the parameter of interest. In this case, we will display the NDVI index, which is related to vegetation vigor and the rainfalls that are available directly from the menu. You can see in the graph below the map that the indicators are displayed automatically, allowing us to study the potential correlations between the NDVIs and the rainfall levels. If you choose to adapt the temporal window, you will see that the data refreshes automatically. You can also have a direct access to the values by passing the mouse over the different graphs. The second video will show you another interesting feature available from this time series viewer. If we go again to our Greek case, just above the charts displayed, we have two specific buttons. One of them allows you to display the data at the regional level, which is even more interesting to make relevant analyses. This data was already processed to be available at the regional level. Do not worry if sometimes it takes several seconds to be displayed given the amount of data involved. The other interesting feature is the monthly variability observed, which is also useful to perform analysis and see seasonal trends. In the third video, you will see how to download any of the data we have seen on a simple click. For that, just click on the icon at the top right of the charts and simply select the output format you need. You have the choice between several options. You can print the graphs and maps that are on your screen. You can download images in JPEG or PNG format. You can download a PDF document, a vector image, 
or you can download the time series in CSV or Excel format. Now, this slide is just to show you that you can also download the data for a specific land cover class. One of these images shows the image downloaded for tree cover and shrubs, for example. That's it. You've learned how to use this user-friendly time viewer. If you want to go further, you could repeat the same exercise to compare with cross-border regions to see if the trends are the same. Thanks to Copernicus, this data is easy, free and open access to all citizens. Of course, user's guide, tutorials and manuals are available on the link below. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps.